Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in day two of creating 100 days of AI agents challenge. So today I have created a simple flow using which we can capture the contact details and save them to Google contacts. The flow is very simple. Uh, there'll be a form. Once we submit that form, which contains details like name, mobile number and email. So then that form, uh, with the use of uh, NI10 framework, that means NI10 AI agentic builder flow, uh, it will save those details to my contacts, which is nothing but my Google contacts. So once I can uh, run the flow and I can show you. So I have opened this form, uh, which is automated with NI10 and I have made this form. So now I'll enter a particular name here. Maybe I can enter my name like Harshit and mobile number so i can enter something and also i'll enter my email so once i enter all these details and i click on submit so automatically if you go and see here means uh, in the flow it has been executed successfully so once uh, i'll go to executions and see you can see here right at uh, 9 a.m june 26 it has been successfully uh, updated so once i go to google contacts and i'll refresh this one so when i refresh this one i can clearly see that my name my email and my phone number has been successfully saved in this uh, google contacts all this i have done using this n 10 which is uh, used to build ai agents but today i have built a basic agent without using any llm only in future videos we can also create uh, ai agents also so how to open this n 10 so firstly uh, if anyone is new to NA10, you can directly go to Google and search for NA10, then open this first website. And from here, you can directly sign in and create an account and sign in. So don't worry, for the first 14 days, there will be a free trial if you are using the cloud version. And if you want to use it as a local host, then also you can use it. You can watch uh, several tutorials on YouTube on how to install this uh, N810 uh, and run locally. But uh, today I'm going to explain you in a cloud environment and uh, in both cloud and localhost also the flow will be same. Uh, today I'll show you how I have created this particular flow. So for that one, I'll delete it completely and I'll start doing this one freshly. So initially when you open the uh, workflow in N810, it will look something like this. So we have to add the first step. So as I discussed in this one, uh, first we need to build a system uh, where it will take a form of details and uh, using uh, N810, we, we are going to take a form of details and save them to Google content. So for that, first of all, we need to have a form right so that's why uh, as a first step i'm taking a form so when you click on this plus icon uh, you can search for notes here so i'll enter form so if i enter form i can see here n810 form so i'll click on that and i have it some triggers here so that trigger is on new n810 form event so that means whenever a new form is submitted uh, this will be considered as a new trigger so uh, when i click on uh, that form so i got it like this so here it's asking us for form title so i'll enter something like um, maybe contact details and it is asking us for form description so i can enter something like please enter your contact details so these two details i have entered successfully and we can add form elements here that means uh, in form we can add some details like right uh, like uh, entering the username the mobile number the email address for all those we have to add a elements that means we're adding elements to the form so so first film i'll enter like uh, name and I'm going to keep that element type as text and uh, placeholder. I'm not going to keep anything or else uh, we can keep a placeholder 
also maybe i can enter please enter your name and uh, i'll make this as a required field because uh, uh, to get uh, and save the content details name is compulsory so that's why i made it as a required field and uh, i'll add another form element so this time i can add mobile number and uh, element type i'll keep as a text only and uh, i'm not going to keep any placeholder or required field here uh, that's uh, our wish completely and uh, i'll add another uh, feature uh, which is nothing but adding an option to give the email so element type now i'm going to keep it as email and a placeholder also i'm not giving anything here required field also i'm not giving anything here so once i enter these details and uh, if i click on this execute step so you can see that directly it has gave us a form and it is asking us to enter the details so if my uh, particular name can be anything for example uh, i will enter like hitesh and i can enter his mobile number also and email also i can enter so once i enter all these details and click on this submit button you can clearly see that this uh, step has been successfully executed and we can see the output details uh, uh, on the right side of the screen so as of now we have done one step that is successfully uh, taking details into form and sending it back to na10 now the next task which we need to do is we need to uh, capture all the details uh, which were in the submit form and uh, save them to uh, my google contacts so for that uh, i'm going to add one another step which is nothing but uh, google contacts so here i can see google contacts in this there were five different actions one is uh, creating a contact deleting a contact get a contact and a couple of more actions so now i can select create a contact because based on the details uh, which we captured from form i need to uh, make it like say on google contacts so uh, now i can add the uh, details here so uh here we can see that the credential to connect with uh i already connected my google account here so if you are new uh, you can you, what you can do is uh you can uh, click here and it will not show you google contacts account because i have uh, already connected it so that's why it's showing me for you it will directly show like create new credential you click on this one and uh, sign in with your google account then automatically uh, what will happen is uh, uh it will it will also show to you uh how it's uh, showing to me like google contacts uh, account uh, as your account will be connected and resource i am going to select as contact only operation is creation because i want to create a contact and uh, we can give family name or uh, given name both the names we can do to the contact detail so for example i already uh, have a name here right in the form submission that is hitesh so simply what i can do is i i can simply drag and drop this uh, to given name so automatically uh, it will be saved as hitesh in my contacts uh, the given name and also we can add additional fields also uh, why we need to add additional fields means we are entering the name of the contact but uh, to add any mobile number or email we need to click on add field so after that uh, we can we can enter anything so for example if i want to enter his email i can select on email and add email so here i can uh, select the email uh, type so i can select home or work or other for example if i select work means it's asking us for the value so similarly i can drag and drop my email field here so as you can see now that uh, the field has been successfully saved uh, so if we want to add any other emails means we can add also uh, not by just adding uh, the value like this we can uh, add email uh, in the other way also uh, that means we can directly give our email also for example i will give here 
paste at the rate mail dot com. So for this, uh, I had given two mails. One is uh, work email and one is uh, this home email. Home email. I am directly. I am not automating this process. Uh, this is for use case only. But uh, uh, in order to automate the uh, flow and all, uh, this uh, this will not work because definitely to automate the flow. i have to submit my details in the form and they have to do all the tasks so that's why i am taking away this thing that's why i kept the placeholder uh, using this particular code here so that it will be automatically updated and then i'll add another field uh, this time maybe for phone number i can add another field so i can add phone number and maybe i can add home mobile number and value i can give this mobile number and yeah so i had given this mobile number and i'll execute the step so when i executed the step we got output like node has been executed successfully now if i go to my contacts and Uh, refresh uh, this one means here i can clearly see that uh, the contact name hitesh has been created successfully so uh, this is all about the creation of the workflow now i'll tell you uh, how you can uh, create a form or you can get the form and give it to any other users and uh, if they enter the details and submit that means uh, their contacts will automatically be updated here how to do that i'll tell you that now so uh firstly you have to activate this particular uh thing activate workflow so once i click on this activate workflow so then you please click on the form which you have created so i'm clicking on this on form submission then you will have two urls here one is test url and one is production url test url is basically used when we are testing the model and production url can be used to uh using real case so as we already created this uh, workflow i'll copy this uh, production url and we'll paste it uh, somewhere and in the browser and i'll show you how exactly this is going to be happen so my contact details form has been appeared maybe i can enter something uh here like himanshu and uh, i can enter his mobile number also and also i can enter his email and uh, if you see here means uh, it's already checking whether it is in valid email or not that means we have to give an exact format otherwise it will throw us an error as you see uh, before it is giving us uh, in the below enter a valid email address so i'll enter the valid email address and i'll click on the submit button so once i click on the submit button uh if we came here and see means the process has been successfully executed so i'll go to executions once and see so in the executions if you go and see means uh, if you can see the date here right june 26th and 9th 12 so that is the exact uh, time right now right? so at that particular time a task has been successfully succeeded now i will go to my google contacts and i'll see whether that has been created or not himanshu so you can see here right himanshu the contact has been created his email has been saved and his phone number also been saved so by using this kind of a workflow in na10 you can simply uh, build a uh, automated agent so that once we can we can get the production url and give to any user and if we ask them to enter the details means automatically those uh, contact details will be saved in our google contacts so this is all about day 2 of building our personal agents so uh this is the end of day two of 100 days of mastering ai agents challenge so if you follow me for the next uh, uh, 98 days means you can definitely become a master of this uh, building ai agents so do follow me and subscribe this channel and share to the people who can uh, get benefit from this kind of videos thank you